Hi, my name is Nouveau. I'm almost 21 years old. Um, I'm a swimming teacher for little babies. I play music. Um, I'm Jewish. And oh, what else do I do? I'm a student. I'm studying gender studies and indigenous studies. I'm a writer. Um, and I also happen to be transgender. Um, I, what are my goals? I don't know. I'm, I do a lot of social activism. Um, I kind of feel like I don't have much of a choice but to be an activist as someone who, you know, considers myself an oppressed minority and who really struggles um, in current society the way that it is. I feel like activism is a really important part of my identity. Um, so my goals are usually quite um, organised around that and how I can sort of centre the voices of the most marginalised communities and try and help raise them up and create some change. Um, I was assigned female at birth. I came out as a lesbian at the age of 15 um, and then I came out as transgender at the age of 17. Uh, so a few years later, I was at the beginning of year 12 um, when I realised I was trans and experienced a lot of dysphoria and depression and anxiety. Um, People reacted, it was quite a mixed bag, especially also being in a faith-based community. That was also interesting. Luckily, I was part of a much more secular um, sort of strand of Judaism. So there was space for me to be queer and Jewish, very much so. Um, but yeah, people had mixed reactions. I think a lot due to the fact that there was no real transgender representation in 2013. I mean, I think now there's there's far more, but at that point in time, it was really limited. So people didn't really understand um, at all. And I think that really influenced their negative reactions. Um, but over time and after adjustment, people kind of came around to the idea a little bit more. And the people that didn't, I didn't really want in my life anyway. So I don't have to worry about that so much. Um, I started thinking about surgery almost immediately. Um, as soon as I realized I was trans, I thought about, I actually thought about chest surgery when I was younger um, because I really didn't like my chest as a kid either before realizing I was trans and wanted to change it. Um, but I did get surgery a year ago. Uh, it was really important to me. I, I think that the medical aspect of my transition um, very much saved my life and I, to be completely frank, don't think I would have survived without it. I think that it's given me a lot of ability to now explore my gender and my identity in much freer and open ways that I wouldn't have been able to do before. Um, it's enabled me to live my life and to thrive rather than just survive, um, which I think everyone deserves. And I was really lucky that I came out at 17 because it meant that I didn't have to go through a legal process to attain testosterone. I um, signed informed consent as soon as I turned 18 and started immediately after that. I can't really imagine what it would have been like to have to go through the courts. I think it would have been traumatizing to have to validate my identity to a panel of people um, and get their approval to survive. I have real problems with that. Um, and I was really, really privileged to not have to deal with it. Um, the idea of spending $20,000 or around that uh, for a lawyer seems completely unrealistic. And I come from a comfortable financial background, so I can't really imagine what that would be like. And especially it, it's based on the presumption that your family is supportive of your transition, which unfortunately is not the case for a lot of trans people. So I'm incredibly grateful I didn't have to go through that process. Um, and I think it would have really impacted if I had. Um, my transition's impacted on my life significantly. I can't really imagine a reality outside of it. Um, I am a lot happier now. I still struggle a lot with depression and anxiety, but at least I can live an authentic and truthful life. I've also been exposed to the most incredible, open-minded, brilliant community, which is the queer community, and have made so many incredible friends as a result of that. Um, so I'm really grateful. Uh, it's also been really hard because I think the world still doesn't understand non-binary identities and uh, non-cisgender identities. And I think there's a lot of progress that still needs to be made, but I feel like we are getting closer. Um, and where do I hope to be in five years? alive 
I hope to be alive. I hope to want to be alive. I hope that the world will be making more space for people like me and centering our voices rather than just tolerating us. Um, I guess I hope to write more books. I'm writing a book at the moment. I hope to have more. Um, how old will I be in five years? 26. I don't know, having fun, being with my friends, um, striving for happiness and health and fulfillment, continuing to do the activist work that I do, and um, I don't know, I guess that's enough. <laughs>